It has already been a successful homestand, and they'll try to cap it off with the cherry tonight. Welcome back to EA Sports. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Canadians win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Here's a chance! Makes the glove stop. Quick feed to McAvoy. The Bruins work it through center. Takes it into the slot. Fantastic stick save by Allen. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Puck picked up by Lindholm. Turns that one away. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Canadians move it in. Grabbed along the board by Matheson. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Poked away in the neutral zone by Savard. And he retreats with the puck deep inside his own end. Up along the wing. The Bruins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. He grabs the puck here at the point. Fantastic save! Puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. Goaltender's out to play the puck. And they send it right back to him. That's broken up in the neutral zone. He's got a step. Oh, on the play. Whoa. That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperate... Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Here's a pass down low. And that pass is redirected. Moves inside. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Again, James, you know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Past the midway mark of the frame, the game is still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases, they got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Boston's won the draw and they'll go to work. And he scores! just exemplifies the critical nature of a no-zone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. The Bruins have to be feeling good about themselves after getting on the board first here. I like the tempo, especially in the latter half of this period, James. They've had more speed, more urgency to their game and rewarded with that goal. Oh, can't finish! Well, he can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. Here's a shot! It's in the back of the net! He scores! Two quick goals in a minute 30, James. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Coming to the slot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Comes up with the stop. The puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Pasternak's got an accurate shot if he can shoot the puck when it's settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability lets him pick his spots. Suzuki's a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. I mean, 
expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Boston's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Moves it to Pasternak. Great stick saved by Allen. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Quick pass to Marchand. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Montreal is moving it up the ice. He looks deep to Saka. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. The Bruins have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw, coming off of an icing where everyone's tired. When you get the win, you get out of your zone. Picked off by Matheson. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Suzuki. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Saka. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. The Bruins gain possession. Here's an odd man rush. Take the shot. And that's deflected. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Hey, fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets today. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Bruins have a two-goal lead here. It's pretty comfortable. Why? Because they've been dominating in terms of getting shots through to the net. If they can keep up that shooting clinic, they're going to go up by more. Boston's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. And he slides it quickly to Dvorak. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Quick pass across to Saka. Odd man rush. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Matheson. Gain momentum up along the side. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Suzuki's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bruins are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Sackers won the draw inside the neutral zone. Driving right to the front. Oh, big time saved by Allen. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Tremendous hit. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Takes the feed. Now a quick pass to Coyle. Takes it to the front. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Coyle's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Guys, we don't change state taking penalties here, but it's important to take the ones that have the top 10 penalty kill in the league. When these guys get confident, they can shut anybody down. Let's see what happens here. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Who is team? Harris takes the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Boston's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Heinen's got it in the offensive zone. 
And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Marchand's got it along the wing. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Allen's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. We're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Now lining up here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Quick feed to Saka. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. The Bruins have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. Montreal's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Cooley. Puck grabbed by Slavkovsky. Loses his balance on the play. Breakaway! Tonight on the breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Taken along the wall by Slavkovsky. Shot right in front! And that goes off of Valley. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by DeBrusque's got it along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Montreal's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Carlo. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. of this period, Boston's got a 2-0 lead. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Bruins take over on possession. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Handles the pass. Oh, a clutch save! Allmark's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. There's the buzzer. Two periods down. One more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Hey, fans. Be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Hate the regular season. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Final frame is underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Montreal's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's turn, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Matheson. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Lindholm. Boston's on the attack. Pasternak's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official decision. Caulfield's getting two for trimming. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it. it oh, it stays out as it goes off the inside of the post. Monahan's gliding in 
for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Bruins win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Coils at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Boston's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Allen's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. The Bruins have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Goes right to the crease! Turned aside by Allen. And Ringstein's got it near the point. And uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Bruins are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Oh, and this is this the puck to deny them there. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Caulfield's got it in the defensive end. Slick feed. And that's poked away by Lindholm. Moves the puck across to DeBrusk. Zaka's up and ready to get back on the ice. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Carries it into the offensive end of the middle. All alone. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deep. And while he's thinking, he's trying to get a step. He's in the clear. Got the puck. Makes a move in front. Tremendous stop by Allen. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Suzuki's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Oh, just a great heads up play by Zaka. Strong defensive effort. Oh, look at this. Here they come. The top numbers. Dismiss that chance. And that turns off a body in traffic. And a stick break set up. And that's broken up. It's these types of games where you kind of shake your head and say, is there ever going to be a goal? And you get endless opportunities around the net and you can't finish. Often the stick gets a little bit tighter as you want that one so bad you can almost taste it and it's not just going in. Moves it to Carlo. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Weidman. And that's stolen. He's got a step. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. And he slides it quickly to Suzuki. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, what a save in front. Boston's got possession of the puck. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Moves the puck to Anderson. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Delayed penalty looming. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Ben Reemstein's pick on the play has resulted in an interference penalty. The Canadians send their men advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it for different adjustments to be made. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Steps across the blue line. Shot! Denies him! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Quite the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who wins? Carla Faye has her answer. Pasternak's 
got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged and worked hard out there. Boston's penalty killers get a hold of it. Drives to the paint. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Hammers the shot. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Moves it to Lindholm. Fires it. Big time stop. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. It so shorty, it's a short-handed one at that. And this could be a turning point in the game, James. I mean, when you're on the PK and you look to attack like they did, that's unbelievable to recognize the opportunity to jump. And man, did they jump, and they end up capitalizing off of it. Boston's added yet another one here to the total tonight. Uh, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their sick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Quick pass over to Caulfield. Fires it on net. Great chance and an even better save. And that one flies over the net. Now this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that if it isn't accurate, it doesn't stand a chance. And the shutout streak will continue. He scores! Four straight goals. They're rolling now. And talk about confidence, hey, James? I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. As a defender, there's certain areas of the ice that you just cannot give up, James. You cannot give the middle of the ice, and that's exactly what happens here. And as a result, the goal is scored. Boston's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. And there it is. This one's all over. As he throws up another donut on the scoreboard. What an impressive run. He has the shutout streak.